This form of Drosericopensis is from Baines Clue, South Africa. As you can see, the newer growth usually remains pretty green, while the older growth develops red coloration. And it's kind of odd, it's never flowered for me. Um, it might be because I've kept it under a constant 15 hour photo period. Um, I'll just give you a quick size comparison. Here's a quarter. Um, as you can see, it's not enormous, um, but it, it it's pretty substantial compared to um, some forms of Drosera capillaris that I haven't been feeding for a while, so they're a bit smaller, but as you can see, it's pretty nice size. Also, this particular plant, the growing point split last winter, and so it, I, I now have two plants coming out of the original plant, so that's kind of cool. And it develops a nice skirt of old dead growth, which makes it look in, pretty unique. And I think I've had this form for three years now, and I mean, it's not the, the fastest grower, but um, I'd highly recommend it. I'll just give you a few more size comparisons here for um, comparing to Drosera capensis red form. Uh, it's about half the, the size, but it's pretty compact, and I like that about this particular form. So there we have it, and that is Drosera capensis from Baines Clue, South Africa.